Hey guys, welcome to Logan is Related, welcome to another video, and today uh, Mauricio Sarri has officially joined Juventus, and it's gonna be interesting to talk about Juventus this season, definitely uh, you're gonna be seeing a how to improve Juventus probably in the coming weeks, uh, it's gonna be interesting what their plans are gonna be, how they're going to, you know, play next season. Juventus, you know, have been dominating Syria for the past, what, seven, eight years? They've won Scudettos like no other. Uh, they're just dominating Italian football. And it's going to be really interesting to see this next season. Mario Sarri is one of my favorite managers in world football. I think that his Napoli team was probably one of the best footballing teams that I've seen of all time. At least the way that they play football. Uh, obviously, they... Although it's one of the best teams I've seen play football, it doesn't mean that they had the best tools in order to win trophies and stuff like that. And yet, they were the team that pushed closest Juventus to a Serie A title in, this eight, in the 17-18 season. I think that Mauricio Sarri with Juventus could do a lot of good things. He's going to have to get the pleasure of coaching Cristiano Ronaldo. It's going to be interesting how that's going to play out because... Cristiano Ronaldo is more suited to a more pragmatic way of playing and it's not that he couldn't suit a possession based footballing dominating side of having a lot of possession but I just think that Ronaldo's like you know a team that has Cristiano Ronaldo normally is a team that is very good in, in defense very solid in defense and then tries to good, hit good with counters and put in a lot of crosses because that's his strong for then it works Part partially works. That is a good strategy, but I think that I mean I th I think that Ronaldo has the cap the capabilities of if he's the number nine of being a good link up striker number nine. I just know that he's not gonna give you anything in the press. He's not Ronaldo's not a, he's not a stage in his career where he can press all the time, and that's I think something that Mario Sarri is gonna have to adapt into his team because unless they're gonna sell Ronaldo, which I doubt Juventus are gonna sell Cristiano Ronaldo. I think that it's something that he's going to have to evolve. He is not as attacking minded as the likes of Guardiola and Ten Hag and stuff like that. Uh, he's, his teams are not always like concerned about attacking, but they are very concerned about having the possession. Uh, Juventus has really good players. They obviously have some of the best players in the world. Ronaldo, Dybala, uh, actually talking about Dybala right now I think that now Dybala leaving Juventus it's a no-go because Dybala right now for the likes of Mario Sarri is gonna be his you know he's Insigne he's Eden Hazard I think that, that Dybala playing off the right is gonna be the, his creative player that's gonna turn him into the superstar of the team I mean together with Ronaldo but I think that you're gonna be seeing that partnership between you know Insigne and like Dries Mertens that you saw in Napoli or you know the the Messi and Suarez partnership that works so well in that kind of system I think that between Dybala and Ronaldo right now you could see that uh, you also have the likes of Bernardeschi, Cuadrado, Douglas Costa who I think is gonna leave, Mansukic gives you a lot in the press who I think that's very good I think it's gonna be he's the type of player that Mario Sarri loves in his teams uh, Pjanic, Bentancur, probably, probably the signing of Sanders or Tonali really good player uh, playing in the in the with Italy this summer he there is a lot of stuff like that he likes like Matuidi gives you a lot he could beat his the Alan of his team and you know not exactly I don't think that he's gonna bring Jorginho to Juventus I'm pretty sure right now that Chelsea are going to get rid of Jorginho if they're not gonna utilize him in that spot because I'm 99% sure that Conte is going to go back into his DM spot with whoever manager it is. I don't know if it's going to be Frank Lampard or someone else, but I, I'm pretty sure, 99% sure that Conte is going to play in his preferred position because that's the best way to get something out of it, out of a midfield that involves N'Golo Conte. Uh, Maurice Sarri with Juventus. It's going to have, he's going to have a chance because by inertia, Juventus 
just wins the league by inertia at this point. Fantastic work from Antonio Conte in the beginning. He got Juventus to glory, to the glory days of that we see right now. I like it worked very well. Uh, the philosophy that Antonio Conte left over, similar to what Luis Enrique and Valverde have sort of done with what Guardiola left. Antonio Conte built this squad and Allegri was able to maintain it and put his idea in there, but pretty much the work of Antonio Conte. And I think that unless Antonio Conte or Ancelotti can do something spectacular uh, with the likes of Napoli and Inter, it's gonna be very difficult for them to beat Juventus because Juventus just right now is too is far too good for those kinds of teams. Uh, Inter has a really good project going on, I think. Their owners have a lot of money and they can bring some interesting players. I just think that Inter has a lot of, has a lot to work, you know, going forward. They need more than just Mauri Carti scoring goals. Like I know Mauri Carti takes a lot of shots per key and he's very clinically with his shots, but you're gonna need more chance creation from that if you're to win. Uh, I'm sure that we're gonna see a three at the back. Do you have the likes of Miranda, Debris? Uh, and Skriniar for Inter, really good defenders, probably another center back coming in for the likes of Inter. You have Napoli who has a really complete team, like their starting 11 is phenomenal. A really good work for Milik, Mertens, Insigne, Callejon, Alan. Alan had a phenomenal season for Napoli. Really good stuff. Fabian Ruiz, very, very interesting stuff that we're going to see next season from Serie A. Serie A, I think, is starting to work in the philosophy of you know, like managers, coaches are the most important thing over football. Like the Premier League did a few seasons ago, where they started bringing Mourinho, Guardiola, Antonio Conte, Unai Emery. Like you have the best of the best in world football, and they understood that giving the managers the like the projects that they need is the best way to succeed. And I think that in the near future, if AC Milan get the right manager for their style. Which Gian Paolo, I think it's gonna be this the former Sampdoria manager that announced he, that he was leaving Sampdoria. I think that he's him signing for Milan could be really good. Uh, Roma, if they can get the right, you know, the right coach or they can get the right project going on, it could be really interesting. Atalanta's gonna be playing Champions League football this season. You have Lazio, uh, Insagi, very, very, very interesting his project as well. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen for Serie I think Serie could be going back to sort of their glory days. Uh, I think that La Liga is going to have a big, big fallout. Uh, stars are starting to leave. Teams are starting to play more mediocre than ever. It's going to be interesting to see this. Uh, Juventus obviously one of the biggest competitors for both Barcelona and Real Madrid in the Champions League. I think that has reached two Champions League finals. In what the past five seasons they've reached two Champions League finals. It's been very good work from Allegri. He did a good job. I think that if they if Sarri is able to get the most out of Paulo Dybala, he's gonna have to have a really successful team. He needs to transition that defense. It, I think that's the most important thing. The likes of Chiellini, Vanucci, and Barzagli, they need to be transitioned out. I think. I mean, he has fantastic fullbacks now, Alexander and Joao Cancelo. Now I heavily doubt that Cancelo is going to be leaving to Manchester City if they cannot get a backup of a similar level. Chesney is a good goalkeeper. They have a good midfield, they have good forwards. I don't think that there's much that he needs to do just then bring in one or two players, maybe three that are going to be of his style, that are going to suit his style of possession. Maybe bring in center backs that are better with the ball at his other feet, that they can play a little bit faster. And more important than just bringing in players, he's going to be convincing everyone else to play to his style. So instead of sitting back and counter, or having the tendency of just lodging the ball forward when they think it's complicated, have the possession to be convinced that possession, to, die, to live and die by possession, is going to be really important for the likes of the Juventus players to understand this in order for Marisari's project to succeed. He is going to have an easier time because as long as he keeps winning Serie A, he's still going to be under pressure for the time being. I don't, I don't think that until two seasons, if he doesn't win the... If he wins a Serie A for two seasons and, and he doesn't win anything else, he should be fine. So that should be enough time to start looking at a project of Morisati at Juventus. He 
they need to allow the owners need to allow Sarri to get rid of and bring in players that he needs. Uh, obviously, I don't think the likes of Paul Pogba is going to come to Juventus because it's just too much. It's too much money. I don't think. I think that he's asking what 15 to 20 million a season. Uh, that's 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 a lot in my opinion, and I don't think that Juventus are able to pay those wages, but. The, there's more midfields in the world and there's a lot of good things that are going to be really interesting to watch from Juventus. Another team that's going to be playing sort of like the Barcelona way or the way that Barcelona is supposed to be playing. Like, you know, having possession, being attacking, uh, dominating games, true possession, very important, high up the high press. All those things are going to be really interesting to watch from Juventus next season. So with all that said, Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Do you think Mauricio Sarri is going to be a success at Juventus? Leave me all your comments in the comment section below. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one, Blogger